diajak di Ibu Cam Gaya San Diego Safari Park nya So the white rhinos, they're pretty stable out in the wild. There's about 15,000 of them. They sound pretty good, but they're the brink of extinction. And that's what we do here at the park. As we're making our way to South Africa, we're going to be passing by some birds over on the right, some pretty pink birds called the greater flamingos. Very sensitive animals. I'm not able to stop them. They keep rolling by. But if you're wondering why they're in that barrier, it's actually for their own benefit. When the barrier wasn't there, they were spending a lot of their time swimming out of the distance. They weren't eating very much. They were losing a lot. We're going to be seeing a lot of cool collection animals, but if you want to see one of our native animals coming up over on the right behind the tree, a California male deer. Whoa. And then we also have some lapid faithful. So they tend to hide, they tend to hang out towards the back, but vultures, very important animals to our ecosystems, to our environment. They do the messy job that nobody wants to do. They are nature's cleanup crew. So they're scavengers. They're going to be eating all the dead carcasses, all the rotting meat that's out there. They have really strong immune systems. That way they can survive on the food that they've already fed them, different types of meat. And it's similar to what they would encounter out in the wild. He's down at the bottom here walking up. Stands out the most. He wants to stand out to the females. He's really dumb. You mean they come from an environment where there is limited resources, a lot of competition. They're going to have to fight for food. It is really hard to stay cool, though, when you're really large. They use that as a weed eater to allow them to stay a little bit cooler. So, really fun thing to see. So, because they have to, such open spaces, they're able to do those behaviors that they would do out in the wild. They can take care of their babies together. They can hang out together, interact. So, it's really cool to be able to see that. They're able to do different behaviors throughout the day, too, depending on the, the temperature they're on. And other animals can't get to. So, it gives them an advantage when there's limited food. They also like to munch on this tree called thorny acacia. It has really long thorns tiny little green leaves. A lot of animals aren't going to want to eat this stuff because of those long thorns, but to giraffes, no big deal. They have these really long tongues that they can use to maneuver around those thorns into those little green leaves. Again, gives them an advantage when there's limited food. In the boma over on the left, you'll see one of our rhinos. This is an East African black rhino. Lavender antelope you'll see at the feeder. That's a South African orange. They're also called a gemba. And then you'll see more of the giraffes out of the distance. <laughs> giraffes, when they're born, they can be as tall as six feet. It's really hard to hide a six foot tall baby, so they're more of a follower. They can quickly keep up with the herd. So they can run, they can stand within a half hour and after, after being born. Pretty impressive. So their best chance of surviving is to protect or to depend on their parents, on their family members to protect them against predators. We'll see some of these babies in their death form because they're tucked away so well. When we see a mom giving birth or if we do see a baby coming out of a place to call home. So you can actually see that all around us. If you look just beyond the fence line, that kind of rocky mountain habitat is going to be cold to the So just like we want to protect what's out in the wild in other countries, we also want to protect what's right in our own backyard. So that's important for us. We are a conservation organization. They grow so fast, they're getting pretty big, but they're only about a month or two old. So as we're looping around Central Africa, over on the left, you'll see those orangey antelope I was talking about. You'll see some Uganda cobs. They're a little bit smaller in size. Only the males are hanging out, at least some of them, up on top of the hill. So they can take advantage of the great view. They can see if any predators might be approaching. Oh. The big difference is going to be horns and antlers. So antelope, they have these horns that they attach to their heads the entire time that they're alive. Sometimes they will break off and they've been fighting or in a shot. As we're passing by, you'll see a couple more rhinos. Some of our giraffes out here are rock cow giraffes. Only endangered species of giraffe only has over a hundred births right here at the park. We do have a couple of young ones you can't see them from here, maybe up ahead. But you'll see a photo caravan safari tour getting to see the giraffe. This is a really cool experience to do if you guys ever get the chance to do it. You get to go out in the field, be really close to these animals. They probably got a great view of Kianga. You get great pictures, videos. You get to see the giraffe, which is pretty amazing. 